Oh, classical uh, and rock work very, very well together. I always felt they have a very close connection. I always felt there was a very s strong sense of rhythm and precision, and out of all music directions, work the most closely together. I'm a big fan of like the 80s rock, especially like power ballads and stuff. It's kind of my era, and I always enjoyed combinations from rock groups when they integrated orchestra. I always thought that kind of like elevated it to a different level. And anybody from the rock or pop world working with an orchestra, you can really see how they they kind of light up, you know, having that kind of full sound, classical sound behind them. It's, it's an experience, and any musician loves working with an orchestra. I think it really adds something very special. I think playing live always influences your playing, your arrangements, the people you work with. Playing with great musicians definitely changes the way you uh, think about an instrument. If you have a great guitarist on the road and, and you hear him do certain things, improvise on stage, you kind of start listening to the guitar in a different way and you try to kind of uh, put that kind of sound maybe on one track. So uh, being on the road, playing a lot, really kind of like uh, heightens your senses. We have in our shows uh, a wonderful uh, variety of, of people from, from young kids, starting from three, four years old, to the teenagers, to the 20s, 30s, 40s, 50s. Basically three generations coming together and all having a fantastic time. What a more beautiful thing in, in the world to have than being, being on stage playing for pretty much everybody in, in, in the society. It's, it's, it's incredible. Well, I started playing the violin when I was four and uh, didn't stop, so um, maybe next year. Beethoven was definitely for me somebody who uh, had that kind of rock star appeal. I mean, obviously when we think about rock star, we think about the 70s, 80s, 90s and so on. The real definition of a rock star is somebody who's extremely passionate about music, who's trying to explore and not follow. So Beethoven was definitely not a follower. Uh, the Fifth Symphony in itself, if you look at the Ninth Symphonies, really marks a change in, in dynamic. And it's an iconic piece and it fits the record. I definitely play more the violin than anything else um, in my whole life. I probably played more the violin than I slept. I would say I'm very, very passionate about every genre, especially rock and classical, yes, but I'm, I'm just a passionate person when it comes to music, I think. Music is something which uh, we all have and which, which helps through troubled times, and I always saw music as something which balances me out, and I'm the most happiest person when I'm in the studio, when I'm on stage, so um, I'm just trying to kind of um, convey that to everybody else and hopefully you know with a good record or a good concert I can get somebody to feel uh, a little bit more happy. Whatever you do, if it's country music, folk, jazz, R&B, rock, I think if you're passionate about something it, it, it becomes successful and if it doesn't become successful it's anyway a success because you love doing it. I think motivation is, is life. Um, how can you be a musician if you don't enjoy life? I think music and life are the same thing. But I would certainly say if I go on stage, play a classical show and see so many young kids and people in the audience, um, that's the biggest motivation to keep, keep on doing what, I, what I'm doing right now. I think Rock Symphonies is absolutely um, an, an adventure, like in, in any sense. Of, of, of music direction. It's just, uh, uh, it's, it really stands for its own and um, it's something very special. I think it, uh, I don't want to say it defines a new genre, but it's, it's definitely something which hasn't been done.